This is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do today is we are going to practice dividing a fraction by another fraction using the aid of a visual model. The first thing that we want to do is shade half of the squares that we see in this figure right here, and then we want to shade one eighth of the squares that we see in this figure here. So let's go ahead and just highlight half of this figure right here. Now, this is a four by eight configuration, so we have a total of 32 square units that cover this rectangle. So we need to shade 16 of the 32 squares because 16 out of 32 represents one half of the entire figure. And then what we're going to do with this figure is shade four of the 32 squares because four out of 32 can be simplified to one eighth. Now, if you take a look here, we could just look at this figure as having eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I simply shaded one of those eight rows. And we can take a look at these eight rows and see we shaded four out of the eight, which is also equivalent to one half. Now the problem is asking us to divide one half by one eighth. And the first number that is to be divided up is called our dividend. The dividend is the total that we start with. And we are dividing it by a divisor of one eighth. Now in the past, you've probably heard teachers say things like, how many times does this number fit inside this number? And that's the same thing that we're going to do in this case. We are going to see how many groups of one eighth does it take to make one half. And you can see in one group of one eighth, we have four thirty seconds. So we are going to consider this right here one group. And as you can see, we have a group of one eighth right here. We have another group of one eighth right here. We have a third group of one eighth here. And we have a fourth group of one eighth right here. So we can see that it takes four groups of one eighth to make one half. So one half divided by one eighth is four. Now, normally when you do division without a visual model, you write the dividend first. You divide it by whatever divisor is given. In this case, it is one eighth. And your teacher probably tells you to keep change flip. And that's really just a standard algorithm to divide any two fractions together. Now that just means take your first fraction, in this case one half, and rewrite that. Change your division sign to multiplication and flip the second fraction or write the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now at this point we can just multiply straight across and do one times eight, which is eight. And we can do two times one, which is two. And now we have eight divided by two, which is equivalent to four. But using the visual model, we can clearly see that even though we're dealing with fractions here, we're really still doing the same thing that we do with whole numbers. We're seeing how many times does one thing fit inside another thing. In this case, we can say that one eighth fits inside one half a total of four times. Okay, let's try another example. Now in this example, we have to take four fifths and divide that by one tenth. Well, we have to start by shading four out of every five of these square units. Now, if we take a look at this figure, we can see that it is a five by 10 configuration. That means we have a total of 50 square units which cover this rectangle. So what we have to do is figure out how many of these squares do we have to shade first. So we know that we have to shade four out of every five parts or four fifths of that figure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an equivalent fraction and figure out what does this numerator have to be out of 50 since we have a total of 50 square units. Now we know that five can be multiplied by 10 to make 50. So what I'm going to do is to make this fraction equivalent, I'm going to multiply the numerator by 10 and that would give us 40. So we have to shade 40 of these 50 square units to have shaded four fifths of the square units. Now each horizontal row contains 10 square units. So I'm going to go ahead and shade 10 square units here, 10 more, which is now 20, 30, and 40. Now you can also notice that we have one, two, three, four, five horizontal rows and we just shaded four out of the five horizontal rows. 
Now what we have to do is go over here and shade one tenth of this figure. Now, whenever you are given a unit fraction, which is simply a fraction with a numerator of one, all you have to do is take the total of something and divide by the given denominator. And because we have 50 square units, we can just divide 50 by 10, which would give us five. So what we could do is make a statement and say that one tenth is equivalent to five out of 50. So all we have to do is shade five square units to have shaded one tenth of the entire figure. So let's go ahead and shade these five square units right here. Now, you should also notice that we have 10 vertical rows and we just shaded one out of those 10 vertical rows. Now, all we really have to do is figure out how many groups of one tenth does it take to make four fifths? Well, we can see in one group of one tenth, we have five of these square units. So let's go ahead and circle five square units at a time. Here is one group of five, so that is one group of one tenth. Here is a second group. Here is a third group. Here's a fourth group, fifth group, sixth group, seventh group, and we have an eighth group. So it would take eight groups of one tenth to produce four fifths. We can even show that using multiplication. So if I go off to the side here and multiply eight by one tenth, and let's change this into a fraction really quick, that would give us eight tenths, which can be simplified further to four fifths. Now, let's use a standard algorithm for division. Let's take four fifths and divide it by one tenth. So once again, we keep our first fraction, which is four fifths. We change our division sign into a multiplication sign and we write the reciprocal of one tenth, which is 10 over one. Next, we can multiply our numerators together, which would produce 40. The product of our denominators is five, which leaves us with 40 divided by five, proving that it takes eight groups of one tenth to produce four fifths.